Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akarkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of our millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, two new uh, two. Uh, news articles that I'm about to bring out for the sit down lesson along with the scriptures as well too and this is a first news article as of uh, January the 2nd 2023 at 1.18pm Central Standard Time and it reads and I believe this is uh, recently this happened about a day or two ago and this is from the uh, ArabNews.com and it says uh, Israeli Israeli strike on Damascus airport kills or fires fighters monitoring. And it says uh, the Israeli army carried out a missile strike on Damascus International Airport on Monday uh, that killed four people, including two Syrian soldiers, according to a human rights monitor. This is the second time in less than seven months that the Damascus airport were Iranian back on groups and Lebanese Hezbollah fighters are present and has been hit by Israel. The attack which occurred 2 o'clock a.m. 23 g.m. time, but the country's main airport out of service according to the Syrian state news agency, the SANA. Israeli carry out the strike with barricades of missiles, I mean barrages of missiles, targeting the Damascus International Airport and its surroundings, a military source told the SANA, which reported that the two Syrian soldiers were killed. But the Britain-based Syrian Observer for Human Rights, which ally on a wide network of sources on the ground in Syria and a total of four people have died in the early morning attack. Four fighters including two Syrian soldiers were killed by the Israeli strike which is the IDF Israeli Defense Force Ramali Abdul Ramal, head of the observatory told the AFP the missiles also hit the positions for Hezbollah and a pro-Iranian groups inside the airport and its uh, surroundings, including a missile warehouse, Abdul Rahman said. It says, since civil war broke out in Syria in 2011, which has been a while, a very long time now, uh, Israel has carried out hundreds of airstrikes against its neighboring, targeting government troops as well as the I I ally Iranian back forces and fires from the Lebanon Shiite military group uh, Hezbollah. While Israel rarely comment on Pacific reports of its attacks, it has repeatedly said it will not allow its arch foe Iran, right? Because, uh, you know, uh, Iran and Israel, they've been known uh, enemies, you know on both sides Iran to gain a foothold in Syria it says <clears throat> it says a uh, Monday strike come days after the head of the state defense force operation directory Major General Abdul uh, Abdi Basli if I pronounce his name right presented the army's operation outlook for 2023 uh, we see that the course of actions in Syria is an example how conditions and present military actions lead to shaping and influencing the entire region. The tweets from the Israeli Defense Force on the Bekshu presentation. He says, we will not accept Hezbollah 2.0 in Syria. The airport is a uh, region south of Damascus where Iranian-backed 
including Hezbollah, regularly operates the last time the airport was out of service was in June 2022 of last year. After an Israeli missile strike, the runway controls towers, three hangars, warehouse reception rooms were badly damaged in that attack. Forces in the airport to close for about two weeks and the flight to be suspended. Just as of Monday's attack, the observer, observatory said that the time that the strike has target nearby warehouses used as weapons, the pots uh, by Iran and Hezbollah. Right, because Iran look at those as arch nemesis, as arch enemies, as uh, Hezbollah and uh, Iranian back groups and Iranian as well too so Israel look at them as the big enemy in, in the Middle East and a threat to the world as well too so that's why you're seeing the ongoing increasing tensions between uh, Iran and Israel and against Hezbollah as well too and Iranian back ally groups in Syria and uh, Iran as well too so I had to add a note to that it says the conflict in Syria started with the brutal repression of peaceful protests and escalations to pull in foreign powers and global you know what I'm gonna say that word uh, about half a million million people have been killed and the conflict has forces around half the country and pre-war population from their homes Right, just like those war-torn curses in uh, Yemen and Afghanistan and these Middle Eastern countries as well too, which is continuing escalation and is continuing on as right as we speak. It says those hostilities has largely abetted in the last three years, sported fighting and times breaking out, and the attacks continue mainly in the east of in the east of the country in 2022 which is last year it says syria experienced its lowest death toll since the conflict started over a decade with the statistics showing right there and at least 3825 died in syria's war in 2022 of last year according to the figures complied by the observatory down from the previous year of 3800 and 82, that's still a lot of lives killed, though. Even if it did decrease, that's still a lot of losses, too. You know? It says, uh, among those killed in 2022 of last year was 1,627 civilians, including 321 children, the observatory says. Right, and that's why uh, Hezbollah and uh, Iranian back groups and Iran you know they still uh, constantly consistently accuse of Syria uh, you know innocently killing civilians as well too with these airstrikes you know Syrian soldiers innocent civilians as well too I'm gonna look at this uh, next article as well too and this was recently, um, Moscow says rocket strikes uh, killed 63 Russian troops. And this was recently. And you see a photo right here it says bystanders look at a crater next to the educational building in Kaviv on January 1st of 2023, which was damaged by a missile strike in the previous day of mending the Russian invasion of Ukraine and it says Ukrainian forces fired six rockets from the high Mars launch system and I believe some of those uh, missile defense system was uh, contributed to the uh, Western countries in the United States as well too which is uh, you know which is allied with Ukraine with the current situation going on over there it says Ukraine forces fire six rockets from the HIMARS launch system and two of them were shut down. Defense Ministry statement said the strike delivers a new 
setback for Russia, which is recent months, had real from a Ukraine counter offense. And it says, uh, this is from the Associated Press of January the 2nd, 2023, and it reads, Ukrainian forces fired rockets at a facility in the eastern Donskin region uh, where Russian soldiers were stationed. Killed 63 of them, Russian Defense Ministry said on Monday in one of the deadliest attacks in the Kremlin forces since the war began more, more than 10 months ago, which was last February of uh, 2022 with the uh, invasion of Ukraine as, you know, Russia look at it as a uh, military operation. And it says the Ukrainian forces fired six rockets from the HIMARS launch system. Two of them were shot down in a defense ministry statement said he did not say when the strike happened. The strike using a U.S. supply precision weapon that has proven critical in uh, enabling Ukraine forces to hit key targets. Delivered a new setback for Russia within recent months have reeled from a Ukrainian counteroffense. The Ukraine military has not directly performed the strike, but seems to acknowledge what appears to be the same attack that Russian authorities uh, report. It says the strategic communications, the uh, directory of Ukraine Armed Forces claimed Sunday that some 400 mobilized soldiers were killed in a vocation school building in Maklovka, if I pronounce that right. About uh, 300 more were wounded that claim could not be independently verified. The Russia statement said that the strike occurred in the area of uh, Mount Kalafaka and didn't mention the Volvocation School. Meanwhile, Russia deploys multiple exploding drone, drones in a, another nighttime attack on Ukraine. The official said Monday as the Kremlin signal no let up in its uh, strategy of using bombardment to target the country's energy infrastructures and wear down the Ukrainian resistance to its evasion. The barrage was the latest in a series of relentless year in attacks, including one that killed three civilians on New Year's Eve. On Monday, Kharkiv Mayor Valata Kalisko said that 40 drones headed to for Kaviv overnight. Uh, all of them were destroyed according to the air defense forces. Uh, the Kalisco said 22 drones were destroyed over Kaviv, three in the outlet Kaviv region, with 15 neighboring provinces. It says in energy infrastructure facilities were damaged as a result of the attack and explosion occurred in one city district. Mayor said it was immediately clear whether that was caused by drones or other mutilation. A wounded 19-year-old man was hospitalized. The Calisco added, "A energy power outage were underway in the capital. In the outlying Kavi uh, region, a critical infrastructure objected and residential buildings were hit." The governor Oleski Kolobov said. Uh, Russia has carried out airstrikes on Ukrainian power and water supplies uh, almost weekly since October. It says Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky has uh, accused Russia for energy, you know what, in the area of Barnet has left many people without heat and freezing temperatures. Ukrainian officials said Moscow is weaponizing winter in its effort to demoralize the Ukrainian resistance. It says Ukraine is using a sophisticated Western supply of weapons to help shoot down Russian missiles and drones, as well as a sent artillery fire into Russian-led areas of the country. 
uh, Moscow full-scale invasion in February of 24th of last year has gone over putting pressure on uh, resident, I mean, on Russia, uh, President Vladimir Putin and his ground forces to scramble to hold ground in advance. He said that this new year addressing the nation that 2022 was a year of difficult, necessary decisions. It says Putin and since he had no choice but to send troops into Ukraine because it threatens Russian security and a sorting condemning by the West which said Moscow bears full responsibility for the war. And it says uh, Russia is currently observing public holidays through January the 8th. And it says drones, missiles, and artillery cells uh, launched by forces also truck the areas around Ukraine. Five people were wounded in the Monday's morning shelling of a Ukraine controlled area of South of Kherson region. It's General, I mean, Ukrainian General, I mean, Governor uh, Yaroslav uh, Yemsovic said on a telegram post it says the Russian forces attack in the city of Bersklav. The official said firing at a local market, likely from a tank. Three of the wounded are in serious conditions, are evaluated to the Kursons. Uh, you will slip, said, and he says these seven drones were just, uh, shot down over the southern Moscow region, according to the uh, governor, Volatile Kim, and three more were shot down in the southeastern uh, Demoproskovis region. Uh, Governor Vladimir Rolensko said, it says, in the uh, Demprakovsky region, a missile was also destroyed. According to the Rolenskos, oh, he said that energy infrastructure in the area was being targeted. The Ukraine Air Force Command reported Monday that 39 Iranian main explosion shielded drones were shut down overnight as well as the two missiles uh, made rolling drones a X-59 missile. We are staying strong, the Ukraine Defense Ministry tweet. It says a blistering New Year's Eve assault killed at least four civilians across the country. The Ukrainian authorities reported in Wounded dozens in the fourth victim, a 46 year old resident of died in a hospital Monday morning. The Kalisco said multiple blasts rocked the capital and other areas of Ukraine on Saturday and through the night. The strikes came 36 hours of a widespread missile strikes. Uh, Russia launched Thursday to damage energy infrastructure facilities and un, uh, usually following up alarm uh, Ukrainian officials with sirens as well too in the area. It says Russia, a Ukrainian drone hit a uh, energy facility in the Brian, Brian Slit uh, region that borders with Ukraine. Brian Lisk, Brian Lisk Regional Governor uh, Alexander Bogolmos uh, reported uh, on Monday morning a village was left without power as a result, he said. Okay, bring out a scripture for these. And this is in regards to the uh, Iranian back groups versus uh, Hezbollah. Iranian back groups and Iran versus uh, Israel, the Israeli the force, Israeli uh, defense force uh, continuing using strikes over there. And uh, this is the book of uh, Mark 13 and 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. This is the book of Mark chapter 30. I mean, Slakia. This is the book of Mark chapter 13, verse 7. And it reads, 
And when ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be but the end. Not be yet. Right, because we're going to see these things increase more and more and more. Just like we've seen a whole big increase of these things throughout the year of 2022. We're going to and see increase even more at a higher level, which we are currently seeing right now around the world, especially with the Russia-Ukraine situation and throughout the Middle East as well, too. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places and there shall be famines and troubles these are the beginning of sorrows right because we are in those stages of a uh, beginning of sorrows as we've seen a result have really happened of these things taking place on the planet earth throughout the whole year 2022 we're going to see more and more and more increases in the year 2023 as well too and uh this is the book of luke chapter 21 verse uh, 21 verse 9 and it reads but when you should hear of wars and commotions that's what we're hearing right now and it's increasing now so more than ever like we never seen before in history it says uh, but when you should hear of wars and commotions be not terrified for these things must uh, first come to pass but the end is not by and by Right, because uh, more prophecies are uh, definitely, especially the major prophecies, going to be uh, come to pass and be revealed as well too. Because it's being revealed right before our eyes, and we see it, you know, with the uh, digital currency that's increasing. Wouldn't be surprised though the full push of a uh, digital currency be mandatory very soon, as we see in that, you know, what is the MOTB? The karagma as well too. And Jaru did do what J B doing. What? How you would do what J B do? He don't got no scratch. <laughs> Here you go. seeing the increase of the stress of nation just like we've seen throughout the whole year 2022 as i mentioned before of the uh rumors of wars heating up you know protests around the world and uprises in the world as well too between the different nations and different kingdoms and going against their uh leaders that's in power signing these uh different types of laws or you know etc et you know that's why we're seeing the distress of nations, nations going against one another. The nations are in the distress, you know, with these uh, protests and uprisings in the world. And that's what we've seen. We've been definitely seeing that throughout the whole year, 2022. And we expect to continue to see it more and more in 2023 as well, too, you know. Uh, 
about what perplexity, what the seas and waves are one. Yep, so that's what we're seeing, you know. So with that, uh, hope this uh, sit down lesson was edifying that I brought out of these two articles of Moscow says Ukraine uh, rockets strike kills 63 troops and this news article as well too was was recently as of Monday because you know the time zones are kind of different from the Middle East and here in the United States and this uh, was reported over there in the Damascus of uh, Israeli strikes in the air on Damascus airport killing four fighters monitoring so with that once again I hope this lesson was edifying and I like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Wakakadash double honors to the elders the preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and uh, Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe including the Akwaf sisters as well too until next time i will say shalom and above above